Well, I think it's a fantastic, um, not only a fantastic snapshot of her life, but also a, a fantastic snapshot of these first sort of mega celebrities and the pressures that they were put under. She was obviously very unwell when she came to Australia. She was really struggling with her addictions and Australia embraced the legend they, they didn't really want to know about the real Judy. In live performance is where she really shone. She did a lot of studio albums, but um, it was her electrifying capacity to hold an audience that really made her career. I find her to be a fascinating character. Um, she's quite operatic in, her, um, in the drama that surrounds her life and um, also to perform as Judy. She was very dramatic. She was a fantastic storyteller and word painter. So a lot of the um, techniques and skills that I have as an opera singer, I can bring absolutely to the character of Judy. I think there was always this incredible sadness uh, in whatever she sang, even in her happy songs, there was this, this sort of lilt of sadness that went, went through all of that. Um, and I'm looking forward to exploring that aspect of her personality and presentation as well. So 72 would have been the first time that I heard the Carnegie Hall album. And that's pretty much the, the benchmark against which all of her performances were uh, compared. I would say she's probably remained with me uh, ever since. Essentially, it's a very sad story. And, but, but we are, hoping in the end that it's still a celebration of her incredible talent and that's the way we want to portray it. It tells a sad story but the, the, the songs are still performed with the power and the emotion that only Garland could really bring to a song. Cause it's so long.